Assistant Secretary of State for the Bureau of Education and Cultural Affairs, Lee Satterfield, is in Nigeria on an official visit. Now, this visit is coming on the heels of Secretary Blinking's tour of four African countries that included Nigeria early this year. I had a chat with Assistant Secretary Satterfield in an exclusive interview where she tells me about the significance of these high-powered visits by U.S. government officials and what more the U.S. is seeking to do in the areas of culture and education as well as for women in Nigeria. Take a listen. All right. Okay. Thank you for joining us for this special feature on TVC News. I'm Veronica Dan Ekoi. Today we have an exclusive interview with the U.S. Assistant Secretary of State for the Bureau of Educational and Cultural Affairs, Lee Satterfield. She will be speaking with us. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. Now, you assumed office in 2021 yes. as um, your Assistant Secretary of State mm -hmm. for the Bureau of Educational and Cultural Affairs. Talk to us about your role, especially what you focus on. Yes, thank you so much. Well, it's an honor to serve in the role under President Biden and Secretary of State Antony Blinken, right. who put a great emphasis on people-to-people -people diplomacy. And one of the reasons that I'm here is to emphasize the relationship between the United States and Nigeria. And the heart of that relationship is our people. Mm. That's great. That's great. And I believe that um, you're already getting some results from your time the past few days that you have been here now. Yes, yes, yes. I landed yesterday morning and have had an amazing visit. It's my first time to Nigeria. Really? Yes. So yes. what's your experience with the people? Oh, I'm overwhelmed by yeah. the people that I've met and every story that I've heard and experience that I've had. I spoke with a group of students just earlier today at the University of Lagos where we opened up a new what we call window on America, which is an American space where students can come and learn new skills and learn more about studying in the United States. I'm here to announce a couple new programs in the right. creative industry, which we can talk about in a minute. But right. I think generally I'll just say that um, there's a warmth to the people here and I'm drawn to every story that I've heard and every individual that I've met. It's been a beautiful experience so far. I would have loved to ask which of the stories stand out for you, but because of oh. time, <laughs> yes, that would be interesting to hear, but because yeah. of time, yeah. let's quickly talk about the high yeah. level visits that we have been getting from the U.S. to Nigeria, okay. and we're wondering what really is driving this. Yeah, well, thank you for noticing that there have been a lot of high level visits. Secretary Blinken was here in January. Yes. President Biden hosted African leaders in Washington, D.C. in oh. 2022. And out of both of those visits, we had conversations with people in, um, on the continent of Africa and in the United States to think about ways that we might explore and expand education and culture programs. And so out of those high-level visits, we've come up with these opportunities that I'm here to highlight. And we have had, I think, almost 17 what cabinet level officials visit, visit Nigeria. Um, I think that says a lot about how important the United States believes the country is, right. largest economy, largest um, country mm -hmm. um, population. And it's, uh, it's important for us to strengthen the relationships with the United States. Right, deepening the relationship. And that's what you have also come to do as well. Yes. Absolutely. Now, March is uh, Women's History Month, yes. uh, so to speak. And in many countries, including Nigeria, uh, the matter of uh, women enjoying equal rights has mm. been on the front burner. Mm. What is the U.S. Uh, you know, going to do or doing for Nigeria, especially Nigerian women, such that they can enjoy the benefits of these rights? Mm. Mm. Um, it's a great question. I'll share with you a program that I think is showing great success. Um, but first, I'll just say the point of empowering women 
and providing economic opportunity and access to education is critically important. And President Absolutely. Biden has said um, it's not only the um, right thing to do, it's the smart thing to do by including leaving out half the world's population is just a mistake because providing women access to these opportunities is good for not only individuals, but communities and families all around the world. If I could mention one of the programs Absolutely. that we've been Go running yeah. called the um, Academy for Women Entrepreneurs. And it's a training course that is been, has been developed at a university, um, in Arizona State University, in fact, it's a training platform for women entrepreneurs. Right. So they can go through a course and it's administered locally and it builds a network and a community of women who are interested in starting their own business and have ideas about where they think there's opportunity economically. And so we foster that community by providing this platform for courses so that people can learn more about strengthening their, um, building their muscle really in entrepreneurship, which I think Nigerians have a big spirit in terms of entrepreneurship, that's my feeling. Absolutely, yeah. Nigerians are very good when it comes to entrepreneurship and uh, they've been doing very well uh, with regards to that. But yeah. aside from entrepreneurship, yeah. what else is the US looking at? Well, we're here, I am here to announce three new programs in the creative industry. Right. And we're seeing more and more in the United States, there's a great interest in African culture, from Afrobeats to Nollywood. I like to say, we're gonna bring Holly, bridge Hollywood and Nollywood to share resources so that we can build up and bolster a creative, creative economy. Mm. So we're announcing three new programs, one in television, we're going to select writers, TV producers to come to the United States. To really? The, yeah. To, in this call, to um, be mentored by American writers and producers at USC, the University of Southern California, the Cinematic Arts, which is just an amazing program and just produces incredible talent. So we're going to bring writers from Nigeria to come to the United States, be mentored by American writers and producers, and help them establish television shows. So we'll see them through production, through the different phases of the creative process, and then um, create shows, that's one. Two, we're going to launch a music program. Mm. I was in LA at the Grammys and I saw Burna Boy perform an amazing um, African artist who are just hitting the scene and the United States is very interested to hear more. So we're partnering with the Grammys to bring African music industry professionals to LA to be mentored by Recording Academy members hmm. so that they can basically build up this network and field of, of people who are not just the artists themselves, but the people who are behind the business of music mm. and then the last program in the creative space is launching we're going to launch a community college initiative which will bring nigerians to the united states to study in vocational and educational training and community colleges in the field of creative industries beautiful Fantastic. I'm very excited about it. I am too. I know <laughs> I'm not a musician, good. but good. I wish I'm one right now to take um, advantage of all of these opportunities that you, you have reeled out. But which is your favorite uh, oh, Nigerian musician? <laughs> um, I mean, I just saw Burna Boy and I thought he was in incredible. To right. be able to see him perform live was beautiful. Right. Beautiful. Right. So let's quickly move to another um, matter, talking about uh, U.S. Uh, supporting the protection and preservation of cultural mm. heritage across uh, Nigeria through initiatives such as U.S. Ambassador Fund for Cultural Preservation. Yeah. Yeah. Why is the U.S. government passionate about pres preserving cultural heritage mm. in Nigeria and around the world? It's a good question. And um, really it boils down to um, protection and respect for individual culture and the story of people that you learn and know about through culture. 
We want to help preserve that culture of Nigeria. We've invested over $1.3 million over the past decade in protecting and helping to digitize with museums so that there's a record of important artifacts and also stop the illicit trafficking of items that are happening that happens all over the world. We yes. have a cultural property agreement with Nigeria that we signed um, recently and we don't have that many in the world. We have about 30. We're trying to build and do more. That cultural property agreement allows the United States to bring the whole of government approach to stopping trafficked items coming into the United States. Hmm. So we're able to work more cooperatively within the United States and directly with Nigerian officials to uh, return items when they're stolen to stop it from happening to begin with. Right. So going back to the previous question you uh, you responded to talking about musicians and all mm. of it. Mm. Uh, how are they to take advantage of these opportunities? Because it's playing back in my mind and mm. I'm wondering how do they get to the hear of this but taking advantage? Yeah. How do they go? How would they go about yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, um, first of all, Thank you for giving us the platform to say directly to all of your um, listeners and those who are tuning in to your television station, this is how they find out about the opportunities, right. that we're sharing that story and you're bringing it to people directly. But people can also go on all of our social media platforms. It's at US in Nigeria, and it lists all the different opportunities. I've only mentioned, what, four? But there are dozens of opportunities to study in the United States. There's scholarships to come and study in the United States. Mm -hmm. We want to bring more people together through education, the arts, film, television, and music. Absolutely. Now, one more issue that uh, I'd like for you to touch on is uh, the matter of technology. Mm. Of course, the world is taking advantage of technology, yeah. like you mentioned yeah. Yeah. earlier. And we hear that you are a big advocate of collaborations between like, the US and Nigeria. Yes. So yes. Uh, in what ways is the US government supporting Nigeria's margin in tech yeah. industry? Because that is one key aspect that the president is looking into. Yeah, yeah. Well, first I'll just point out our American private sector and the investment that we see U.S. companies making in Nigeria, Google, Meta, Microsoft, all coming here to invest in Nigeria. I think that says a lot about the country. Mm. And it's an important area of collaboration. The field is changing so rapidly with AI and all the various. We're just all struggling to keep up. We've got to figure out how to work together to use technology as a force for good. And I think we'll be able to do that together. Right. Now, talk to us how strategic a partner Nigeria is to the U.S. in all of this education, culture that you have mentioned or spoken about. Yeah, it is incredibly strategically important. Geopolitical force, Nigeria. And I think you can feel it between the United States and Nigerians, there's already a connection. But from my perspective and the role that I play, I want to build on that and create more opportunities and more pathways to shared economic success. Hmm. Great. And um, on that note, we must thank you. Assistant Secretary of State for Cultural and uh, Educational Affairs, Lee Satterfield, we must thank you for your time. Thank you for speaking with us. It's been an insightful conversation, and I believe that every viewer out there that believes there's something to take out of this conversation will go and look for how well they can take advantage of all you have said. Thank you once again. I hope so. Thank you. Thank you. Our that is a wrap on the conversation. Thank you so much. Until the next one, bye for now. The Africa in Nigeria, in Lagos. All right, that was me speaking with uh, Lee Satterfield yesterday. And like I mentioned, it was an insightful, insightful conversation. And I hope that uh, Nigerians, especially those in the creative sector, will take advantage of all that she said.
Yeah, that's what I tell you that uh, <clears throat> this international community, they, they know that Nigeria has got lots and lots of talents. You know, she, I love the fact that she mentioned the uh, leveraging arts, film, music, you know, men mentioning Bonobo and those guys that are doing fantastically Absolutely. well out there. So it's good that um, they're working to deepening ties with Nigeria and Absolutely. looking forward to, you know, gaining from, you know, this collaboration. Definitely.